hello everyone and welcome back to my channel dear friends hope you are all doing well so this is the topic ordinary differential equation of higher order it is same for the both streams uh, that is for the triple e stream and ec stream okay you can refer this bmat ee301 is the subject code and bmat ec uh, for the ec stream students uh, bmat ec301 is the subject code okay so so far i have discussed the basic uh, what we call lecture on this particular topic okay i have provided the link in the description box you can watch those videos first then only you can solve the problems on this particular topic okay this is the higher order differential equation where you are supposed to calculate the general solution general solution of this equation contains complementary function cf and plus particular integral so these two we have to calculate in this problem okay so what is the procedure so let me tell you so in the solution first of all we are calculating the auxiliary equation so before that i will tell you the standard equation for this higher order and i have discussed it in the previous video f of d of y is equal to q of x this is the standard form for this higher order differential equation okay where you are supposed to calculate complementary function and particular integral while taking auxiliary equation we have to put down this f of d is equal to zero first of all check uh, this equation is it in the form of f of d of y is equal to q of x c this is uh, in terms of d so that is f of d multiplied by y so f of d of y is equal to this term is it in the form of x so q of x so it is definitely matching this particular equation now i can calculate auxiliary equation in auxiliary equation we are supposed to write down the equation f of d is equal to zero we are putting this f of d is equal to zero so what is the f of d in this case d square minus 3d plus 2 should be equal to zero so we are supposed to put this d as m over here you can solve in terms of d also but in some colleges they are telling you the uh, put d is equal to m okay so i can write down here put d is equal to m so i can write m square minus 3d plus 2 is equal to 0 now you can calculate roots in the calculator also and also by the splitting middle term okay so let me show you in the calci over there <coughs> alpha sorry menu alpha e polynomial so second degree we have second degree polynomial what is the coefficient of m 1 right is equal to coefficient of sorry m we are supposed to write here m so minus 3 is your coefficient is equal to 2 is equal to is equal to so roots are 2 so i can write down here m is equal to m1 is equal to 2 and m2 is equal to 1 so these two are the roots okay so in the previous lectures i have told you uh, there are uh, different types of roots either uh, real and different uh, real and equal imaginary and different and imaginary and equal but in this case we are getting the roots real and different okay so i can write down here the roots of auxiliary equation are 2 comma 1 or 1 comma 2 it is your choice so for a real and different roots there is a complementary function okay so complementary function so complementary function is equal to c1 e power m1 x plus c2 sorry e raised power m2 x okay so what is the m1 value m1 value is 2 so c1 e power 2 x plus c2 e power m2 m2 is 1 that is x over here so this is your complementary function so first part of the general solution is completed now we have to calculate particular integral right so for particular integral okay there is the equation okay so 1 upon f of d q of x this is your equation for the particular integral okay in the previous video i have told you the cases were there okay so i will take 1 upon f of d f of d is given d square minus 3d plus 2 d square minus 3d plus 2 this is your f of d what is the q of x q of x term is the e power 3x right so i can write e power 3x okay so this is the first case of the particular integral okay first in first case i will tell you here otherwise i have discussed it in the previous video so e power ax wherever it is uh, in the first case you have to uh, put down the value of d as a you have to replace d with this particular a over here okay so in this particular uh, equation what is the value of a 3 instead of a there is 3 so i have to put down the value of d as 3 so put d is equal to 3 but you have to check simultaneously if you are putting d value as a here okay or here uh, instead of a is 3 
so if you are putting three value the denominator should not be zero so let me check first is it zero or not so i can write down one upon d square means three square minus three into three plus two e power three x so one upon this is nine minus nine is zero plus two so one by two it is not coming as zero so your replacement is correct right if in case uh, while putting the uh, a value instead of d so you should check first if it comes zero in that case you should multiply numerator with x and denominator you have to differentiate okay in next problems maybe uh, the problems will come and i will solve them okay no need to worry for that but here if you are putting d so your uh, placement is correct uh, placement of a is correct just because denominator is not coming zero over here okay so 1 by 2 e power 3x it is your particular integral p of e is equal p of i is equal to e power 3x this is your particular integral now i can write the general solution so therefore the general solution the general solution of given differential equations is y is equal to see y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral complementary function plus particular integral so y is equal to what is the complementary function value see here c1 e power 2x c2 e power x so c1 e power 2x plus c2 e power x plus particular integral value is e power sorry 1 by 2 e power 3x so this is your complete solution for this particular problem i hope this is clear to you people so make sure you will share it with your all friends who actually need it and who are struggling with the mathematics subject so thanks for watching the video